Hello, we're here today to look at this, the Poly Studio P Series P15. This is a personal video and audio bar. Let's get into the video to understand more about what this is about and actually see it in action. So before we look more into the P15 itself, let's first of all talk about who's going to be using this kind of technology. And as we all know, video has become a lot more important in all of our lives since the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic. And now, as hopefully we're starting to get towards the other end, we need to be understanding what the relationship with video is going to be moving forward. But for those that are going to be continuing to use video on a regular basis, there are a multitude of solutions, depending on your specific needs, um, that will be able to work for you. So the P15 is just one of those items, one of the items in Polly's range and the wider uh, AV uh, product uh, line that you will be able to match to certain people with inside your business or maybe match to your specific needs. Now, the P15 is called a personal audio and video bar. Um, it is, um, from my perspective, really good for people that have a need to have high quality audio and video that is easily accessible. There will be people at the high end, maybe like more of the setup that I'm currently using now with very expensive uh, 4K, 6K cameras, studio microphones and things like that. But underneath that, there will be people that need to look their best. They need to give the best impression on camera, whether that is they're recording quick content, maybe an exec that records regular content that is sent out via uh, Microsoft Viva Connections or something like that. Or maybe you are regularly doing product demonstrations, you're in pre-sales or sales or something like that, and you're doing a lot of video meetings. This solution, the P15, is aimed at those people. It has a slightly higher price range than maybe a camera, um, microphone and speakers alone, um, but it is really designed as a simple, easy to use, single combined solution with many advanced features that will make it an ideal use case. Let's dig into some of the specifications so we can understand actually what is inside the, the uh, unit itself, and then we'll start looking at how it performs in real life. So the Poly Studio P15 was launched earlier on this year alongside two other products in the range. Um, we have the P5, which is a standalone camera um, that is, uh, I believe, 1080p. At the top, we have the P21, which is an all-in-one display, USB connectivity, ambient light built into it to give you the, the perfect lighting for your videos, and importantly, that 21-inch display. In the middle there, then in, in terms of numbers, we have the P15, which is this personal audio visual bar. Now, as we have a look at Polly's website here, we'll be able to go and see the specifications for this unit and see what makes it up itself. I think one thing to uh, talk about across the P series is these devices are aimed for personal use. They're not really designed to be used in boardrooms and things like that. One of the major uh, reasons for that, or one of the main benefits for that with personal use cases is how the lenses have been configured. The lenses have been configured to be used in that personal scenario with the distance that you normally are between the camera and yourself. Um, and one of those things is I believe the shutter uh, or the, the, the lens on this has a 90 degree field of view. Uh, so a nice field of view, nice wide field of view for the, when the camera is so close um, to you. Um, the, the unit itself is very similar in terms of design to uh, some of the other, like the Poly Studio bars in terms of all-in-one design. And as we can see with the specification, this device uh, itself, the camera is a 4K camera that can be used at various different uh, resolu resolutions over and above that, the 90 degree uh, field of view. It's got really nice features and functionality that you don't expect really on something that is designed for personal use, such as that auto framing. And we've seen that feature on many of the uh, poly product line but now we've got something that is aimed at an individual that that is really going to, to suit and we'll have a look at that when we set it up uh, on my desk in a moment. I think one of the features that I really like about this unit um, is when you um, have a look at the unit uh, itself that has a wealth of connectivity and that is the same across the P-Series. So what we actually have on the back here, we've got um, the connectivity uh, for the power, the connectivity to the computer and a Kensington lock. But across the other side here, we've got two USB ports and those can be used for uh, data chaining other USB devices of course, but if you did want to record a video in conjunction with a headset or something like that, or an external USB microphone, you don't need to have that hub on your computer. It is built into there as well. Um, in terms of audio, it has 
all the audio technology that you would expect from a poly device. We've got things like noise block AI, which we'll have a play with. We've got acoustic fencing to limit the noise that is coming out of the immediate area. Um, we have three microphones, a microphone array in there, not just a single microphone. And again, poly are known for the quality of the audio. So that is a really important thing on this device. And we have a great speaker as well that can be used to listen to music when you're not in meetings. But equally, if you just need to sit down, very relaxed manner, don't need a headset on, on a small room on your uh, own like yourself, you can have that personal video conference room experience with this bar. So without any further ado, let's take this, let's uh, have a look at uh, what we look like, uh, what it looks like over on the uh, setup I'm going to set it up on. One of the things that uh, I like about this is on the bottom here you have the bracket, so it can be uh, put on top of a monitor nice, quickly and easily. But what we can also do is we can take that bracket off and we can put it on a tripod uh, or uh, some other connection. So on the desk that I'm going to be using this on, um, I've actually got a sit-stand desk that you can probably just see behind me. and you might be able to see just above the phone behind me, over here somewhere, there we go, um, I have a small tripod that is, or small monopod that is connected to the back of my desk. So that is where I'm going to mount it. I use it with a number of different devices over there and I choose not to have a monitor on that desk to keep it clean because I have a wealth of monitors here in front of me. So I'm going to mount that onto the monopod. We've got the USB-C connection and the power connection ready to go into that. And then we're going to have a look from the computer side of things on what the Poly Lens app looks like, what the configuration looks like and then we we'll do some tests to see how it compares to the camera and audio uh, out of the box using uh, my Dell laptop and then we'll record some videos with that. So before I jump over to the Poly Studio P15 I wanted to show you what the inbuilt uh, camera and microphone are like on my Dell laptop. My Dell laptop is a typical uh, laptop that someone like an exec may have. It's a uh, Dell uh, 7390 two-in-one device. It's about two years old now, I think, um, but very typical. Um, something like a Surface Pro would have better audio in it, and maybe I'll do some uh, demonstrations in comparison to that at another time. Um, obviously, uh, you can see here, I'm in quite a dark corner of my room. There is a window, but it is over there to my side and to this side of my office. I've just got walls, my whiteboard and things like that. So I'm looking quite dark here on camera. Um, haven't got much light. And uh, as I say, the, the image is very dark from that perspective. Um, you can hear what the audio is like at the moment. And to give you an example of some other things that we can then test on the Poly P15, um, I've got a piece of tin for here. Maybe I'm trying to eat my sandwiches while someone's talking. I'm just rustling that so you can hear what it's like while I'm talking. And if I stop talking, you can then hear what uh, it then sounds like as well and whether that would be of an interruption to another person talking. Um, obviously, if I move around the room, um, the camera isn't going to be auto positioning. You wouldn't expect that on a laptop. You can see um, obviously what the sound change is like uh, when we go through that as well. So we've seen what the inbuilt camera on my Dell laptop looks like. Let's have a look in comparison to what the Poly Studio P15 looks like out of the box. I'm now uh, using the Poly Studio P15, which as I showed previously is currently uh, connected to a monopod on the, the desk in front of me. Um, immediately you can see that uh, it is handling the low light conditions of this part of my office in a lot better way. Uh, the picture looks a lot better, a lot brighter, and the colours are better as well. And that's thanks to the inbuilt low light and true colour technology that's built into the Poly Studio P15. I've now switched microphones over as well, so we're now using the microphone array that is inside uh, the Poly Studio P15. Um, I think it's important to say um, I'm using OBS to record this. I've not put any specific settings on it, but I am recording it at HD rather than uh, 4K um, to give you that uh, piece of information. Now, if we take the tin foil that we demonstrated earlier, um, I'm just rustling that in my hand whilst talking so you can hear the comparison to the previous video. Um, if I stop talking now, you can see what happens. And we'll see what happens from that, but hopefully the noise block in AI there, certainly when I've stopped talking, will have cut out that noise. And that's really important. When you're an exec and you're interacting on a call, you don't want to be interrupting others. You want your audio quality to be the best possible. Now, the other thing you might see that's been happening is as I move around this room, the camera will evaluate what is the best um, position, the best framing for the picture. It's not going to be moving around all the time because that would almost make someone seasick, I suppose. But it's really important that... Um, 
when you're doing something like this, and like I am here, I'm stood up, not sat down, it's important that as you kind of uh, talk to your audience, as you're engaging with them, that the camera is able to keep up with you and it's offering the best conditions uh, possible to be able to do that. Um, a couple of other things that I just want to do, um, I've actually got my um, hoover here, um, so I wanted to see what the, um, uh, the acoustic fence technology was like, so if we just turn it on, hopefully you can hear that now, it's directly in front of me at the moment, we'll see what that sounds like in the recording. I'm just going to push it off to the side now. So that's still running in my room over to the corner. I'm unsure what that's going to do, but hopefully that's given you a good example as to how some of these features work out of the box without any settings change on the Poly Studio P15. Just doing a, another small test with that Hoover. I've actually just placed it um, even further away. It's outside of my room, the other side of the door. It's quite audible from my side now, but I just wanted to see if the placement of uh, that noise had a larger effect on the acoustic fencing. It definitely helped last time. It was struggling a little bit. I think the proximity of it and the quite small room that we're in probably wasn't a fair test. So we'll see what it's like outside of the room, see if you can hear that noise that I can, I can very audibly hear right now. So hopefully you heard in that second video that the noise was a lot less. Um, it was still audible in the recording right at the background, but certainly wasn't as loud as it was in the room for me. Um, as I said, the device was only just outside uh, the room behind the door of the room that I was in just here. So um, definitely I think the second test there of acoustic fencing will show you how some of this uh, technology can go into making your audio visual experience, not just for you, but the people watching the videos that you are recording or the Teams meetings you're in, uh, be the highest quality possible and that is really important. So the next thing I want to have a look at is how we can tune some of these settings using the PolyLens uh, desktop application uh, just to show you as to how this device can be managed and tweaked uh, for your very specific needs. So we're now going to have a look at the PolyLens application which is uh, Poly's new uh, application, the desktop version of it at least, to manage all of your Poly devices. And as you can probably see behind me I've got a, a multitude of devices, so I've got the Poly Studio there, um, I've got the Poly UC Focus. Um, these devices um, eventually, if not already, are available to be found. So as we can see here, the PolyLens application is installed on my local device. Um, on the left hand side here we would see all the devices, so on this specific device I've only got the, the Poly Studio P15, I can see it's green so it's online, it's healthy, um, I get an overview of what is going on, it's connected, the firmware version's good, I can go and do an update. Um, one of the interesting things comes to controls, so from here I can turn on a preview so I can tweak those settings and see what's going on. Uh, I won't do that specifically here because I'm using the P15 to record this video. Um, we can save those favourites, so if you have different um, settings you like to use and tweak based upon the different kinds of videos you're creating, you can do that and save them. We can turn on the on-screen display, which I will do very briefly here, um, and you may see uh, some of the settings that are currently set um, appearing on the video. We can turn tracking off, so if I was to turn tracking off here, uh, tracking would be static, and if I probably move off as I record this video, um, I'm just going to set that back to the setting group. Um, quite interestingly, the Poly Studio P15 has a setting of group for tracking mode. The studio behind me has two settings, individual or group. So obviously the technology inside it is slightly different. It's a very smaller device aimed at um, uh, consumers rather than um, sort of the uh, enterprise class that the Poly Studio is. Um, so we've only got that one setting there. So if you had two people, it's gonna try and best frame both people. If it's one, it will best frame that one person. It isn't able to make the differentiation between those when there's multiple people it would seem. Um, we've got the maximum digital zoom that we can set. That's quite important around um, sort of pixelation of the image or anything like that when that digital zoom is being utilized. So we could tweak that maybe down to two, which when it's cropping in and moving to frame the picture will be really important. We have two settings here around camera movement. So the setting it was using previously, as you saw in the video, was cut. We'll set that to auto pan, which will be a lot more slick. It will be that kind of panning movement from one shot to another. Um, maybe as I'm recording this, it was doing it, but at the end of the video, we will also test that as well. Um, and we can change the tracking speed. So it was on normal. Uh, I mentioned previously that you might not want to have it too fast because that might kind of be a little bit uneasy to watch, but we're gonna set it um, to fast uh, just for the, the purpose of this. 
and we have the ability to set it to tight, medium or wide. So just going to flick through those so you can go and see it. Hopefully you can't see too much of the mess here in my uh, home study, um, but I'm going to set it back to tight now uh, just so we can see what that looks like in the final video. Um, so into the settings, uh, we've got a few more. So whether acoustic fence is narrow, that's what it's currently set to, medium or wide. So that's the kind of part that it's listening for audio in. So it knows to try and do its best to block out the noise that may be coming from outside of that. The noise block AI that we kind of use for paper shuffling. So again, uh, we've got a piece of tin foil here. You'll be able to hear this at the moment. If I stop talking, hopefully the noise block uh, AI has uh, cut that out, which if I was kind of not talking, I was just creating lots of noise, typing away, doing anything that is other than talking. It won't be disrupting, disrupting everyone else. I don't have to worry so much about muting every single time I'm not talking. Um, we've got ringtones and volume uh, for the device here and we can reset the device. And then finally we've got all those support features. So just a final test now considering those changes, those settings that we made in the PolyLens uh, application. Uh, hopefully you'll see when I start moving about in a moment that we're going to see that lovely pan rather than the cut that we saw previously in the video. Um, so what I'm just going to do is I'm actually just going to start raising my desk. I'm going to stay seated in my chair here and we'll see what happens as the camera is moving up in front of me on my uh, sit stand desk um, and obviously I'm still sat down here. So as you can see there, it uh, panned and tilted one from the other. Um, and as that comes back now, down now, we should see a similar effect. So this has been a video all around the Poly Studio uh, P-Series P15. It is a personal audio and video bar. Um, hopefully you've been able to see from this video that it's, for me, it's a really good place between um, kind of a semi-professional setup, as you can see in the intro to video where I'm using some very expensive, complicated equipment that really wouldn't be suitable for um, some kind of intermediate users and executive to use, or maybe they may not want that complexity. And it is hopefully you've been able see a lot better than the inbuilt uh, camera and microphone uh, that was in my laptop. So this is a really well-rounded device for me. The auto positioning, the, the kind of framing uh, of um, the camera, the enhancements to the audio to block out background noise and things like that, for me, make this a great solution for those people that need to quickly and easily create video or take part in meetings. And it's really important to them that they're heard well, they have the flexibility to move around maybe they have the comfort of not having to wear a headset and importantly it also looks great for the people that are watching the video thank you for watching this video we'll look to do some more tests with the p15 in the future